good morning student so the last period we have completed exercise 13b that is adding and subtracting measures of time and working with bigger unit of time now we are to learn finding the starting time and finishing time is it what is the meaning of starting time it means what we are doing the work that is the starting time and when we complete that work that is the finishing time is it everyone can go to market or to watch the movies at what time at what time it is will be finished that we have to find out okay so see that to find the finishing time first we can find the finishing time last time okay ajay started collecting dabbas at 8:30 am he finished 3 hours 32 minutes later what time did he finish what this is that ajay started a collecting dabba at 8:30 am in the morning and he finished his work in 3 hours 32 minutes 8 hours 30 minute 3 hours 32 minute okay what time did he finish the starting time is 8:30 and finishing time is 3 hours 32 minutes to find out at what time ajay finished collecting dabbas and he and we need to add the elapsed time to the starting time it means we have to add both the time starting time plus elapsed time equals to finishing time the time spent during at event or activity is the duration of the time or elapsed time it means we can start we can add this 0 plus 2 it is 2 and it is 6 and it is 8 plus 8 9 10 11 11 hours 62 minutes but again 1 minute equals to 60 1 hours sorry 1 hours equals to 60 minutes it means this 60 minute we can add here so it will become 12 hours 2 62 is convert into 60 plus 2 it means it is became 1 hours and it will became 2 minute so 1 hours 12 minute is coming this side we can add here it will became 1 hours and 2 so 12 hours 2 minutes he is finish his work so this says that we have to count the to the find the finishing time so 8:30 plus 3 hours 32 minutes count the pair 8:30 am plus 3 hours it will become 11:30 am and 32 minutes is convert into 1 hours 2 minute then we can add it will become 12 hours 2 minute so ajay finish his collecting dabba at 12 hours Two minute p.m. He started at a.m. and end in p.m. Okay, we can add this so it will become twelve hours two minute. See the second one. To find the starting time, now we have to find the starting time. Devesh woke up at seven thirty a.m. after sleeping for 8 hours 45 minute it means devesh sleep at night 8 hours 45 minutes total 8 hours 45 minutes what what time did he go to bed he woke up at early in the morning that is 7:30 am here we have to the finishing time and the elapsed time but not a starting time so we have to find that we have to find the finishing day see that so then started his training as a dabbe wala on 17th august so then started his training as a dabbe wala on 17th august he finished 33 days later after 33 day he finished his training on which day did he finish on which day did he finish we have to know the day So starting date is seventeenth August. Starting date 
is 17th August. Okay, and the duration is 33 days. Duration is 33 days. Is it? So, this says that starting date 17th August, duration is 30, uh, 33 days and finishing date. So, we have to calculate the starting date plus duration equals to finishing date. What is that? Starting date plus duration equals to finishing date. Finishing date. Okay. So, we need to count forward. Always go forward. To find the finishing date, we can't go at the part. So, 17th August to 31st August. August month is 31st. So, 17th August to 31st August. How many days is there? 17 to 31st. It is taking 15 days. It is taking 15 days. Counting both the days. 17, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Total 15 days. Okay. And remaining 33 days minus 15 days. So 33 minus 15, it is became a 18 days. 18 days is remaining. Is there? So they say that 18 days after 31st August text at 18th from September 1. So, so they finish the training in 18 September. In the month of September, we have to take 18 days. It means so they finish his working. His training on 18th September. Is it? On 18th September. Okay. So, this is the finishing date. What does that? Sudhir has taken the training of the Bewalas from 17th August he started. And 33 days training is there. So, 17th August he, said he started. Duration is 33 days. So, Starting date plus duration equals to finishing date. So, 17th August, the total days of August. Started from 17th August to 31st August, total day is 15 days. And from 33, 15 days, we can minus, it is remain 18 days. So, 18 days we have to take from the month of September and that he finish his training on 18th September. Okay. So, see the second one. Finding the starting date. Now where to find the starting date? Ritual written from his 21st day holiday on 10th June. When did his holiday begin? It means that Ritual's holiday is completed on on 20, 10th July. Okay. So, in which and the holiday is 21 days. So, how many days on which date the holiday begin? We need to count back in part to find the starting date. 10 July to 1st July. It is 10 days. Okay. It means that from 10, 21 days on 10th. July 10th July ko complete it is given the complete days is 10th July so 10th July to 1st July it is given a 10 days 10th July to 1st July it is total 10 days okay 10 July it is completed his holiday so we need to come back then 21 days and 10 days. So 21 days return minus 21 days from there. 10 days and 21 days minus 10 days. 21 minus 10 equals to how many days is there? 11 days. 
is it 11 days 11 days before 1st july takes as 20 june it means 30 june to 20 june it is 11 days so check your answer to counting the forward that is 20 june to 30 june is 11 days and 1st july to 10 july it is 10 days total 21 days so raju begin the holiday on 20 june it means that before 11 days before the 1st july and 11 days before before that is 20 june that is 20 june so 11 plus 10 it is 21 days so the holidays begin from 20 june so total it is became 21 days okay so exercise is given here from 13th c but it is all are given in what problem so i will say on whatsapp 